just so excites me to think of each single one of you going in your, to your home or staying here or wherever you go in the world, just bringing that immediate benefit to the world. It just touches my heart completely and it so excites me because so many people just touching so many hearts of others just by, by, our, by our pure presence of recognizing our own true nature our powerful, beneficial nature. It's, it's just amazing and it's just amazing to think of how it just ripples off into the world. Because just by each single moment of recognizing open intelligence, we bring immediate benefit, immediate benefit to that circumstance we're in. Just taking one short moment recognizing that open intelligence is at the basis of all our experience. And as we heard in the video, we just need to stop thinking for a moment. And then boom, there it is. Isn't it amazing, this clear clarity right there. We recognize that open intelligence is always present, always remains within every thought, emotion or sensation. So no matter what thought comes up, no matter what emotion comes up, at the basis, inseparable from that thought, emotion, sensation, is open intelligence, blazingly obvious. There for us to recognize and utilize for the benefit of all. That energy that is at the basis of it all is our fire and fuel for benefit. So all our thoughts, emotions, sensation, experience, so all our data are just like these fireballs of energy. When we allow them to be as they are, without needing to try to hold on to them, change them, making them, uh, neutralize them, or anything with them, then we see the power that is within all our data, all our experience, right there, ready to use, ready to implement into beneficial action. So no matter what it is, if it's doubt, resistance, attraction, hope, fear, jealousy, the whole spectrum of human um, experience, no matter what it is, it has always the same potency and beneficial energy right there for us to use, to open up for benefit. Benefit that doesn't look a certain way, benefit that is always responsive in, in the immediate of each um, perception, responsive what is needed, what is needed in each circumstance, in each situation. Isn't that amazing that we have that ability to just know what is of most benefit? I had no idea that that's possible, no idea before I came to this training. I thought I had to accumulate all kinds of concepts and ideas about how the world works, how I as a human, um, human being work and, how, and I thought I needed to have a, like this whole framework to understand and then I could see how I want to be in every circumstance basing all my, my action on these ideas of everything basically and now to see, wow, boom, all these concepts, frameworks blowing them open, just seeing really what is really needed in each circumstance, in each situation that will be of most benefit. And we do that by just allowing everything to be as it is, leaving all our data, the natural flow of all our data streams, just completely be as they are. We don't need to base our action on our data streams, because you all know how fleeting data is. Ah. They come, they are there for a while, and then they just go. Sometimes we feel like this, sometimes like that. So basing our actions on these things that are just always fleeting, I mean, we will be spun around crazily. And we all know that from our experience. I definitely know that from my own experience. No clarity within that when we hop onto all our data stream, taking the ride with all the data stream wherever they go. No, we want to keep completely open in the face of all the data streams, like from the mountain top. We just see all the data doing their thing, but we no need to jump on them.
just allowing them to be as they are, whatever they are, and see that we open up to that intelligence at that basis, always accessible for us. Always accessible for us to see what will be of most benefit. It's amazing. It's really amazing what we can, what we can do if we, are, if we are educated in the nature of our mind. And this education never stops. It's the basis of all education. You want to have that primary education before doing anything else. Because from that, everything will be enriched completely. Because we need to understand the nature of our mind to understand anything correctly in how the work, world works. So training up in that education as primary education and going from there to see what you want to do in life is most essential. I see that directly from my own experience, the potency and power, just because every area of my life so enriched and empowered just through the education of the nature of my mind, just knowing deeply what all my data streams actually are, aligning myself with reality in every moment in every moment of our life. And it is the last meeting today and it's, it's, it's been amazing to be here. I've been here since the end of November, the whole setup and then, then just until the end and I'm, I'm just so filled with gratitude to everyone, each and every one for contributing so much to make this center flourish so, so powerfully, for your openness to really train up and, and for the benefit of all. Doing so much, pouring all your energy and heart into this place that all people can flourish and, and enjoy this education in the nature of mind. It just touches me deeply and I want to really thank you all for this, from my heart. It's, it's just amazing. I've just enjoyed this time so much with you all and it's just incredible what we can do together. This is just a demonstration of how we can really build a society based on this just complete open-heartedness, empowerment and supporting each other to be the best that we can be. Always supported of the Four Mainstays, no ma matter where we are going. If we are now leaving home, we always have the, f the Four Mainstays readily available for all our media on the internet. All trainings we, we have also via our Fuse and video conference. So there's always possibilities to touch in with the trainer, with the community, no matter where we are. All the talks that we can listen to that are freely um, for us to download, books that we can download, or books that we can just take um, there at the end, uh, back of the meeting hall, we can take with us. Just these powerful books that always remind us back to open intelligence again and again. So we have all these possibilities and then of course they're all over the world face-to-face -face meetings as well. We can check out on the internet to see where, where the next meetings are and really making that pri the priority of our life because that is the basis of really flourishing in all areas that we are passionate about. From there everything just easily and effortlessly rolls on 